I climbed a million steps to the temple of myself, and then I walked a million more. I still felt. I tried so hard and got so far, and in the end nothing really matters, to quote Lincoln Park. Sometimes it feels scary to sleep. Sleep is inviting in memories in which people are dying or others are trying to murder or sexually assault me. People don't feel safe. But it's another ball game when the time you are meant to rest feels so restless and you wake up more tra- more tired, anxious than when you under sleep. When I'm careful what I expose myself to, it does get better. I don't need sleeping aids. Recently a friend of mine passed away and it deeply impacted me. I woke up from a dream where I was then and often sleep triggers a shock response where I wake up terrified like falling off a chair and my body's response is kicking in to protect me. When our selves are so impacted it's hard to not drag ourselves through life. Self-actualization seems to be eons away for those who have experienced child sexual abuse. This is why I'm turning to this channel and turning this channel to a space where survivors get skills, strength and self-actualization in the long run. While it is difficult to provide safety or security to members in this space in terms of regulating it very strictly, what is possible is to explore topics of consciousness, who we are, what are we doing here, what is the meaning of this all. I have been on YouTube from the time where there were no ads here at all. It was a different place. While I've talked on this channel a great deal about narcissistic abuse due to its impact on our long-term feelings of trust in the world and interpersonal relationships, I am moving to more concrete creative ways to express ourselves and bringing those to survivors of childhood sexual abuse. Seeing the world as a hostile, treacherous, evil space is an inevitable consequence perhaps of this. It leaves us feeling empty, fragmented, amongst other things. Restoring our confidence and trusting ourselves and being able to function in the world and reach our greatest potentials is the self-actualization. Maslow speaks about to be able to live out and fully experience our greatest gifts available to us. I have been in incubation for a very long time, not posting here, doing other things. I am working on developing courses that enable us to use a multi-pronged approach consisting of awareness, advocacy, creative arts and spirituality to hone into the best versions of ourselves because we are not competing with ourselves, only on a journey of continuous self-improvement. Having chronic fatigue, anxiety, depression causes us to isolate. One of the debilitating effects of pain is that an animal in the wild who is hurt goes off to hide in a quiet place until it gets better. If it gets better, that is. What we often do is remain in hiding our entire lives almost, behind codependent facades offering a fake mask to the world, because the longer people don't know how the don't know the real us, they can hurt the fake self rather than our authentic beings. But this disassociates us from true connections, true friendships and living life on our own terms. Instead, we slip into CPTSD responses, a freeze, fawn, flight and fight. Questioning why are we on this planet, inhabiting this body in this time and space and unfurling the story and living our greatest truths in the process is a journey. There is immense spiritual starvation in the systems we reside in and let this channel serve as drops of self-nourishment for ourselves and others. Thank you.